Hi, hi everybody, Tan Chen Hao over here again, and today we're going to go through question 5.8 of Quantum Field Theory of the Gifted Amateur. So, uh, another Lorentz scalar that can be obtained from the Faraday tensor is this, where this is the Levitas, Levi Civita symbol, and then show that this leads to E dot B being an invariant. So, first thing to note is that this has the indices contracted well. So this means that this is a Lorentz invariant. That's what I mean by being invariant. In this case, it's Lorentz invariant. Then it remains to show that this is equal to this, or at least proportional to it. So essentially, uh, that's, that's the problem over here. So do note that this shows up in an interesting problem of axion electrodynamics, which is which is an interesting uh, academic curiosity and possibly has some applications to things like dark matter but I don't think experimental evidence has been found for it yet. So yeah, axion electrodynamics. So let's go ahead with the proof. So show that, uh, so we have this, then we have alpha, beta, gamma, delta, f of alpha, beta, f of gamma, delta equals to and in order to, one naive way we can do this, which we are going to do in this video, is just to expand out all the, all the terms. So, um, we should have 6 terms that are non-zero, uh, or, or rather 12 actually, 12, yeah, because uh, 4 times, or is it 24, okay, but anyway, uh, first term we have is F. 1, 2 times f3, 4 minus f4, 3. You can see why this is so because 1, 2, 3, 4 is a positive term, it is a positive epsilon symbol, and 1, 2, 4, 3 is a negative symbol. Then we have a few other terms, I will try to list them down exhaustively. 1, 3, f, uh, I have minus f2, 4 plus f42 plus f14 minus uh, f sorry let me just check is 14 14 is minus f uh, uh, 23 plus f32 plus f I'm just gonna list them down in this video so we have a 2 we have a 2 1 f uh, 4 3 minus f 3 4 you see there are a lot of repeats over here so soon we can combine all of them down and we're gonna do it soon as soon as we finish listing so there's 2 3 f 2 3 what is 2 3 uh, 2, 3 would be is it an even or odd combination um, it's F 1, 4 let me just check 2, 3 uh, 1 jumps 2 places so it should be even F minus F 4, 1 plus F 2, 4 F 1 3, let me just check, 3, uh, swap, 2, 3, so this should be minus sign, plus F3, 1, I hope that this is, I hope that I don't make any minus sign errors over here, F3, 1, F2, 4, plus, sorry, minus F4, 2, plus F three two F four one minus F one four plus F three four three four F one two swap 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 okay minus F two one and then last we are nearing the end, There's tw there should be 24 terms so we are listing 12 of them here, we have 4 uh, 8 we have 3 more to go, so there's F 
three four so that's F four one four one B F two three minus F three two. We'll soon see that a lot of these are the same, so we actually can combine all of them. F four two F uh one three minus F three one plus F four three. We're nearing the end. F two one minus F one two. Okay, now we have all twenty four terms and let's see what this is equals to. Now note that F mu uh nu equals to by definition so where this is the vector potential or rather the four potential and this is the four gradient and this in turn is equals to uh, minus of f nu f uh, this this thing minus this thing equals to minus f nu mu so it's anti-symmetric about the indices so a lot of these can actually be combined so if, we, if you see what I mean, see f12 over here and f21. Okay, so first of all, all of these can be combined into the, the, the one with the positive sign, meaning that this is actually f, the first term is actually f12, 2f34. Uh, okay, then if I repeat it for the remaining, so I'll have. I can just write the indices now. Um, yeah, but then what's important to note is that you see over here, uh, we have a 1, 2 over here, we have a 2, 1 over here, and these swap twice. So actually, this is 4. So we scale it, so it's another 2 because, F, because this particular term is minus f12, and this one is minus f sorry minus minus 2 f 3 4 and these two pluses cancel out so this term over here equals to this term which equals to the first term so it's actually that's why I added the additional 2 over here so it's actually 4 factor of 4 so let's just write it out 4 times the entire thing so 4 times everything so it'll be f 1 2 F three four. We have a F one three, F four two. So that that so that, that uh, we must be careful over here. That clears this, and we need to do a six of these. So actually, it's fairly easy to list them down. So we have this. We have cleared this one. So next, we need a six of these because there's four. So there's twenty four divided by four equals to six, right? So we have F one four. F three two, F two three, F two three, F two three, F one four, then we have F two four, F three one, then we have F three one is done already, so we have three two no three two is done also, so next thing we have is three four, and this is F. With three four f one two, okay. So just check mentally that uh, all these form the correct permutations. Let me just uh, one four might look a bit wrong. One four two three. A oh, I think that's I think this is supposed to be two three. One four. Yeah, this is supposed to be 2, 3, sorry. So, uh, yeah, because I'm just mentally checking all the, the minus signs. If not, we're going we're gonna to get some minus errors. Mm. Let me just gloss over it. 1, 4, swaps twice. This one goes, swaps twice. This one, 1, 2, 3, swaps. 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, looks good. Okay, so we have these terms, so 4 times the sum of all these, okay, so what, what do we have over here? So we, we need to show that this, the sum of all these is essentially E dot B, and now it's fairly enough, easy enough to do. 
um, because because we have we can just refer directly to this variable tensor over here. Uh, but that's uh, we can allow for further simplification because we realize that f one two three four is the same as f um, where is it uh, f one two ah so f one two three four is over here. Then we have f one three four two is f four two one three or two four one two four three one. Then we also have the green one. Okay, so this is essentially eight times f one two three four plus uh, f one three four two plus f two four three one, or rather, uh, no, 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 sorry, f uh one four two three. Yes. So now I'm going to erase the left hand side. Make room for uh, the exp so sorry I I don't, because I want to refer to the table over here that I have. So I just erase all of these for now. So so from here where do we go? We we can immediately apply this table. Uh, so let's see. So I'll just so so F one two is equals to the first row second column. E X. I'll just ignore the factors right now. Ignore the eight and the C. Then F three four is three four. So that's B X. So it's this. Then we have uh, F one three. So it's one three. You have E Y. And then yeah, I'll make it a bit clearer. So this is minus B X. So this one is uh, this one is one two. This one is three four. Okay. Then this one is uh, one three, and this one is two, four two. So what is four two is minus b y, and then what is one four? It is one four is e z, and what is two three? It is two three is minus b z, and see that this is equals to minus e dot b. So what we have shown is that. We have shown indeed that this this uh, anti-symmetric thingy is equals to, or rather, is uh, proportional to is is equals to minus eight over c e dot b, and hence we have shown that if and hence we know that if this is Lorentz invariant, then this is also Lorentz invariant. And hence, we show that this quantity is an invariant. So with that, we have come to the end of this video. We have showed that this Lorentz scalar is E dot B and is an invariant. Thank you very much. If you like it, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.